Yeah, I first saw and first heard about Bitcoin uh, July, early July of 2010. Uh, there was a website, Slash.org, the tagline News for Nerds. It was a very popular website in its day. Uh, if you were linked uh, by Slashdot, the website would bring so much web traffic to your website that it'd crash your own website due to popularity. So a post about Bitcoin is going to reach all the nerds. Uh, and it uh, obviously reached me, uh, several other uh, earlier Bitcoin devs. Uh, before that, uh, Gavin Andreessen, a couple other people had uh, heard about it and were communicating with Satoshi. But this was really Bitcoin's big bang moment. Um, for me personally, uh, I, at this time in 2010, had a lot of experience with Linux, open source, uh, maintaining open source projects, contributing to open source projects. And so I naturally slipped into that open source developer mode. I downloaded the source code for Bitcoin. I uh, skeptically thought to myself, there's no way this works. This is all just five computers in a data center, right? This is uh, not uh, truly decentralized. Let me poke holes in it. And because it was open source, because Satoshi made that source code available, we can look under the hood. Uh, so I had the source code and I did what open source developers do is uh, our Linga Franca is patches. It's a software change to an existing piece of open source software. So if you want to make a change, you make the change locally, you test the change locally, and then you produce a patch, a diff between the old software and the new software. And that's what open source developers read. They read patches. They don't necessarily read source code. They read, this is a change. And then open source reviewers review the change and ask themselves, does this break it? Does it make sense in the source code? That's what I did with Bitcoin. And pr I proved to myself that it's not just five computers in a data center. It's really something truly novel with the proof of work algorithm and the, uh, this totally new method of uh, peer leader election. It was new, novel, completely interesting. That was, uh, you know, my introduction into Bitcoin. Uh, that was my introduction into consensus algorithms. And uh, it was my introduction in part to uh, Satoshi, who uh, you know, was very patient with new people. Satoshi was not like uh, many open source engineers are, or kind of acerbic and closed off and, and unwelcoming. He was the total opposite, is very interested in people discussing Bitcoin, improving Bitcoin, reviewing Bitcoin. And so uh, that really spawned my participation in the overall Bitcoin project. I thereafter posted many, many more patches. I was kind of the, the jack of all trades. If there was a problem, I'd look to solve it, uh, no matter what part of the software it was in. And Satoshi accepted those patches. And that was, uh, there was no formal, uh, application to be a developer. There was no formal, can I contribute to Bitcoin? You just uh, email a patch, Satoshi merges that patch, and the moment he merged that patch, I was a Bitcoin developer. You know, there's no stamp of approval, there's no committee, it's just Satoshi is emailed a patch and he merges it and that's that. 